been a tough few days for those flying on Frontier Airlines. More accurately, for those who thought they would be flying on Frontier Airlines. Frontier says winter weather caused cancellations and delays. They've had some people stuck at DIA for days. And we have team coverage on the Frontier debacle. Jace Larson's digging deeper into the problem. He also spoke with the pilot union today. First, though, live to DIA, where Sally Mamdu spoke to some frustrated travelers. Sally? And Shannon, things are looking a lot better than what they did a couple of days ago. You can actually see the floor. Over the past couple of days, you couldn't really see the floor from all the amount of bags that covered it. But now we're seeing a little bit of bags here onto my right hand side. We're seeing people come and show their IDs and pick their bags up. But still, there are a lot of frustrated and angry passengers who say this will probably be the last time they'll fly Frontier. I will never fly Frontier again even if they were having flights for 10 cents. Frontier passenger Janita Hill has been stranded in DIA since Saturday with her six-year-old granddaughter and dog. Don't accommodate you in a hotel. Don't give you a voucher for food. Don't give you a voucher for a damn cup of coffee. So what are we supposed to do? And her alternative Frontier flight. They said they couldn't get me out until the 23rd. I'm like, today is the 17th. What am I supposed to do until the 23rd? Medically wise, I cannot be here until the 23rd. I'm a dialysis patient. I can't sit around here until the 23rd. Hill is also among the many Frontier passengers scrambling for their lost luggage. I'm here in this line again for them to probably tell me the same damn thing and still don't have my bags. Hill's frustration can be felt by nearly everyone we spoke to who has been part of the latest Frontier flight fiasco that Frontier says started due to the cold front over the weekend. Frontier spokesperson says the weather caused them to cancel nearly 70 percent of flights nationwide and that created all of this mess here at the baggage claim. This is a photo a passenger took of the mess last night as he searched for his wife's luggage. Now, a Frontier spokesperson tells me that they apologize for the inconvenience that they caused passengers over the last couple of days. They also tell me Janita Hill was supposed to also receive vouchers, but not a lot of people have been dealing with the same thing that Janita has been dealing with. They haven't received any vouchers or accommodations at all, which made it that much more frustrating for them. We're at DIA, Sally Memdu, Denver 7. What a mess. Sally, thanks. And the head of Frontier's Pilots Union is hoping to get some answers about what happened there. And Denver 7 investigative reporter Jace Larson. He's live in the newsroom. Both sides are meeting on this next week, Jace. Uh, actually, this week, Wednesday, in fact, just like so many passengers, the pilots had trouble reaching someone at Frontier after their flights were canceled. Many of them were working and were flying to and from other cities. This is a screenshot that the pilots union says was taken on Saturday. Look at the time on hold here, more than two hours. The head of the pilot union says that he wants to understand what happened just as bad as passengers do. He has not been able uh, to prove this rumor that we've been hearing that baggage handlers simply walked off the job. I do not believe that's what happened. My only understanding of what may have been related to staffing issues was a, a spike in sick calls possibly for the ramp, uh, possibly some people having difficulty getting to work due to the weather. Now, when it comes to hold times on the reservations line, we set up a little test today. Passengers told us they were waiting more than 90 minutes over the weekend, but our call at about 11.30 today took just four minutes to get answered. That's a big change from Saturday and Sunday. Live in the newsroom, Jace Larson, Denver 7.